Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy, and today we are going over to the post office and checking on mail because we have some mail. Stay tuned. So before we get to the post office, if you guys recall, in one of my last videos, we had two big jars of change that we have been collecting over the last 10 plus years of being in the car business. And in those change jars, there was loonies and toonies. And you gotta be Canadian to know what those are. So in Canada, we have $1 coins with a loon on the back of them. They used to have a loon, we called them loonies. And then when the $2 coin came out several years later, well, it just adapted the name Toonie. And that's kind of slang for one and $2 coin. Anyways, that's besides the point. So, loonies and toonies, obviously, they would add up very, very quickly. And we had two jars, <coughs> pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, loonies, toonies, a couple of bills in there. And so we had a little contest between myself, my wife, and my dad on how much was in there. I had guessed $275. My wife and my dad both thought that that was actually quite low. And then my wife guessed, I think, $411, and dad was somewhere, <clears throat> was somewhere in the vicinity of 500 and something. I forget what it was. But anyways, so dad took all that coin home and counted it, came to work this morning, and told me, that there was $236.20 there. So that doesn't really mean anything. We weren't gonna give it to the winner, but nevertheless, I ended up winning that little bet because I had guessed closest and granted, I was just prices writing. I was trying to get closest to the nearest dollar without going over. And yes, I just used prices right as a verb. So we are just getting uh, ready to pull into US Customs here and uh, before we head over to the U.S. Post Office, and you'll just have to bear with me just for a moment. There. Hello. Where are you headed tonight? Just over Johnson's. Is there a plate on the back, or no? Is it there is a plate. plate Not off the top of my head. <laughs> So I can look it up for you. There we go. Great. Thank you. Thanks so much. So when you're local, it's so easy to get through the U.S. Customs. Sometimes they give you a hard time when you get somebody who's just not having a very good day and sometimes those badges give them the opportunity to take out their bad day on you anyway so what we're going over to the uh, my box my PO box to get a couple of things I'm expecting and a couple of things I don't know what they are just yet a few weeks back I was on a live stream on Instagram not even sure how I stumbled upon it but it just happened to pop up I clicked on it and I said hi and uh, listened to what they had to say the name of this company is called Yank Apparel and I'm gonna put their information right up here so you guys can go take a look and hopefully you will go over there check out what they've got for t-shirts and uh, clothing and support a very worthy cause so anyways I was on the live stream and unbeknownst to me if you were a member of that live stream at the time they were giving away a free t-shirt so they put the uh, everyone's name into a draw and randomly drew my name so I get a random email and uh, it said that I had won a t-shirt I didn't even know what the design was until all the documentation came through nonetheless I know that I'm picking that up here today and I can't wait to show it to you guys because it really is something that I'm very proud of even though I'm not an American my wife is and one of my brother-in-laws has served and uh, in the U.S. Armed Forces. So I want to be able to show my American pride uh, when I wear this shirt. So I'm going to go inside, I'm going to pick up that shirt, and when I come out, we'll show you everything that I got. So I was going to record this in the parking lot, but 
it was getting dark really, really quick. So I wanted just to give you this quick little uh, visual of what this t-shirt is. And uh, it's actually quite impressive. And as you can see, behind me is a, uh, an American flag made out of doily and lace and ribbon and a, and a bandana that one of my friends um, gave my wife for Christmas one year because obviously my wife is an American so so this t-shirt is very cool and it actually has quite the Metallica theme to it so without further ado let's take a look at this t-shirt so this is the back of the t-shirt of course across the top it says America and America. it's <laughs> very reminiscent it's very reminiscent of the Metallica Enter Sandman album that came out back in the 90s. But if you look at the tour dates, it lists all the wars that the U.S. has ever been in, in history. And I think that's actually pretty neat. I'm sorry that my camera is casting a shadow. So on the left sleeve, it's got their little yank. And on the other side, it has the uh, backwards image of the American flag and nine line apparel. And not really my kind of design on the front of this t-shirt with the skull, but it does have a yank with a star and a skull. And uh, I'm, again, I'm not sure how much of that you can see with this camera. And there is their contact information. If you want to check them out on social media, I encourage you to do so and support what they're doing. And I want to thank them for making me a part of this giveaway. And I really appreciate the opportunity to win this t-shirt. And as I said, I will wear it with pride. She's a storm. Look at the snow drifts. to freezing rain right now and uh, that that's not the problem the problem is I've got to keep my dumpster plowed out and this is all ice along here so every time I get in there it's hard to get back out I'm afraid I'm gonna get stuck but uh, we gotta keep plowing through her Here we go. It would be really good if I didn't hit it too. That would be awesome. Ouch. All back in here is all icy too. Makes it hard to plow. Especially if you got your blade angled that wants to push you the opposite way that you're angled. So folks, as we finish up, this plow job and this video I want to encourage you guys that on Thursday evenings every Thursday evening myself and Street Six Fan when his information is going to be right up here we host a YouTube subscriber hangout and we talk about cars we talk about uh, YouTube struggles tips and tricks and uh, we want to share that with you guys and have you guys become a part of that because that's what this is all about it's about growing each other's channels and if you come along, you'll find some like-minded individuals who really enjoy talking cars and finding like-minded YouTubers. So I encourage you to do that. Time schedule is on Thursdays at 9 o'clock local time, 8 o'clock Eastern, and 7 o'clock Central. And the further west you go, just keep taking an hour off the time. T-shirts and hoodies are still available at bonfire.com. That is the first link in the description box below if you guys are interested in supporting my channel. You can get your very own Old Car Auto Guy t-shirt and or hoodie, all sizes and many colors. Prices are pretty reasonable too. So guys, if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button down in the bottom corner of this video. 
and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for interacting. And just thanks for getting me up over that 600 subscriber hump. So stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again.